Hello, my name is David Trujillo and I'll be giving my second uh, affirmative constructive speech and brief. Uh, this one will be about the why the U.S. government should renew and improve the federal assault weapon bans. So imagine a society free from the fear of mass shootings and gun violence, where everyone can go about their daily lives without the constant threat of assault weapons. This idea is the vision we aim to through the renewal and improvement of the federal assault weapon bans in the United States. The federal assault weapons were first enacted in 1994 and it expired in, nine, in 2004, only lasting 10 years in place. Our case argues for the renewal and improvement of those bans in order to reduce, uh, reduce the prevalence and the devastating impact of assault weapons in our society. The United States should renew and improve the federal assault weapons bans to enhance public safety, prevent mass shootings, and preserve the well-being of its citizens. The original 1994 ban prohibited the manufacture of and sales of certain semi-automatic firearms, large capacity ammunition magazines, and specific firearm accessories. Although the 1994 ban was not perfect, studies have shown that it had a positive effect on reducing mass shootings during its existence. However, its limitations allowed for loopholes such as the cell and possession of pre-banned weapons and the modification of banned firearms. Assault weapons have been the weapon of choice in numer numerous high-profile mass shootings. By renewing and removing the federal assault weapon bans, we can significantly reduce the lethality, lethality and frequency of these tragic events. Studies have demonstrated that states with stricter gun laws, including bans on assault weapons, suffer fewer uh, deaths from mass shootings. Renewing and improving the federal assault weapon bans will help safeguard communities by reducing the availability of firearms designed for rapid fire and high capacity. Research shows that assault weapons are disproportionately used in violent crimes. Banning them would limit their availability to criminals, then reducing overall crime rates. Assault weapons pose a significant threat to law enforcement and first responders. Renewing the, the bans will protect those who protect us by reducing the firepower criminals can wield against them. Assault weapons can have increasingly targeted schools and places where children gather. Renewing and improving the bans will create safer environments for our children to learn and grow. The prevalence of school shootings in the United States demands action. Renewing bans, bans will help limit access to assault weapons and create safer educational institutions. A ban on assault weapons will alleviate parents' fears about the safety of the children, allowing them to focus on their education and development. The renewed ban should include a comprehensive list of specific firearms, parts and accessories that are restricted, ensuring the potential loopholes um, are closed. The sale and possession of prevent assault weapons should be strictly regulated or prohibited altogether to prevent the circulation of, of uh, banned firearms. In conclusion, the renewal and improvement of the federal assault weapon bans is essential to enhance public safety, prevent mass shootings, and protect the well-being of American citizens. By renewing and improving the federal assault weapon bans, we can, significant we can take significant strides towards a safer society where citizens can live, from the f can live free from the fear of assault weapons. It is a responsibility to protect the lives and well-beings of all Americans, and this begins with the renewal and improvement of the federal weapon bans. Thank you.